if you're concerned that your dishwasher may be causing etching of your glassware, uh, here's a simple way to check. Uh, of course, just by looking, you can tell that cloudiness is in fact etching, uh, whereas this glass came from uh, the back of the pantry and it hasn't ever been washed. Uh, but if you just drag a, uh, a sharp edge over them, you can hear the, the difference, the roughness. compared to a brand new glass with no uh, etching. It's really quiet. So what causes the etching of your glassware in your dishwasher and more importantly how do you get rid of it? So it comes mainly from the caustic nature of the alkaline uh, chemistry of dishwashing detergent. So the alkaline nature actually dissolves metal ions, it attacks the glass on a microscopic level by dissolving the metal ions in the glass. It also attacks and corrodes the uh, crystalline boundaries at the microscopic level in the glass creating very small pits that in large numbers show up as a gray cloudiness as, you, as you've seen in my example or uh, you can hear audibly if you scratch a, a knife or sharp edge over it. So the way you reduce the etching is to reduce how much caustic action is going on in your dishwasher and you do that mainly by using less soap. Don't use a full container of soap use or the measuring thing use half of it or a quarter of it. Use barely enough soap to get the job done. Uh, other things would be put your dish dishes in your dishwasher dirtier. Don't rinse them. The more dirt goes in there, that dirt will be will use up the causticness and result in less etching, of, uh, less uh, caustic uh, reaction available to dissolve the glass. What else? Oh yeah, dishwashing soaps come in various strengths. They you know, just ordinary dish soap, and also they'll say it's uh, extra heavy duty for pots and pans. You know, grimy, super clean. That, all that means is it's got more caustic nature in there, and it's going to have more power to dissolve all the food, plus etch your glass. So don't use super strength detergent, get regular strength detergent. And finally, uh, some dishwashers have a uh, capability to soften water. If you've got a lot of hard water, you may have bought a dishwasher with the ability to soften it. That means you add salt to the dishwasher. Yeah, just like a, your soft water, a water softener does. And the salt actually dissolves the calcium and magnesium ions in the water. Uh, but by using that salt, that leaves full strength of the detergent to attach your attack your glass. So don't use the salt. Uh, let the hardness of your water uh, to do the dissolving of the, of the calcium in the water. And finally, of course, this whole discussion about etching of your glass is presuming that you're already sure that your problem is not calcium buildup and inadequate rinsing of your glassware. If you're using a rinse aid, uh, that really shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and if you've got some calcium buildup, that should be able, you should be able to wipe that off uh, with a hard scrubbing or for sure with vinegar. Put vinegar on there. Vinegar is an acid and that will dissolve the calcium. So before you do any worrying about what kind of soap you're using in etching of your glass, make sure that uh, your rinsing is, is sufficient and you don't just have spots building up from calcium. So that's, that's the other thing to make sure. Okay, good luck. Bye.